Hey, how's it going? My name is Max. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Gulp with Browserify without depending on the Gulp Browserify plugin. This way, you can always use the latest version of the Browserify module without depending on the plugin maintainer to keep up. So as the first step, as always, I'm just going to create a blank package.json file. Then I'm going to install all the dependencies I'll need. This is Gulp itself, Browserify, and a module called Vinyl Source Stream. After the modules have been installed, I'll create my gulp file and just reference all our dependencies. Now let me go ahead and just create a small sample application that uses Browserify. The main.js file is going to be my entry point. I'm going to pull in a module called say hello. And the say hello module is just going to be a function that writes hello to the JavaScript console. Now I'll need a simple HTML file. And I'll need to include my bundled JavaScript. The bundle.js file doesn't exist yet, so let's edit our gulp file to make that happen. We'll create a task called JS. And in here, I'm just going to call the browserify function. And as a parameter, I'll pass in our entry point. Then I'm going to tell Browserify to bundle that and include source maps. Gulp works with so-called vinyl file objects and doesn't understand the Browserify to bundle directly. So I'll use the vinyl source stream to translate Browserify's output into something that Gulp understands. In here we also specify the desired name of our output file. And then as usual I'm just going to specify an output folder using gulp.dest. Now I can head over to the console, type gulp.js, and after just 34 milliseconds, bundle.js was created. And we can open our index.html file. And confirm that everything works. And if we refresh real quick, we can also see that source maps have been successfully included. Now we wouldn't want to put this code out into production because it's not minified. We'll use gulp uglify for this. We'll install it and save it to our dev dependencies. Then we'll go back to our gulp file, reference it here. and just pipe the bundled JavaScript to the Uglify plugin. Now if we run gulp.js, we get an error. This is because gulp uglify does not support streams. All this really means is that Uglify expects a full file before it can do its job. To make it work, we can use a plugin called Streamify. So what Streamifies does for us is basically it takes a stream, then it transforms that into a buffer for any plugin that requires the entire contents of a file to do its work, and then it gives us a stream back so the next steps in our pipeline can keep using streams. In our case, all we need to do is wrap Uglify with Streamify, and everything's taken care of. Now let's head back, run gulp.js again, we don't get an error, if we look at bundle.js, we can see everything has been minified. Heading back to the browser, we can see our console output still works. Cool, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below this video. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also follow me on Twitter, where I also tweet all the videos I post, but more importantly, Almost every day I tweet videos, blog posts, interesting discussions from other web developers.
Also, I always love talking to people who are passionate about these things. So follow me there, tweet me a tweet, and let's get in touch. All right. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.